Oh? What's wrong? It's not like you to be so flustered. It, it's terrible. We got an emergency report in from the Twin Dragons Bridge. It, it's Keldic. Keldic's. Keldic? What happened to Keldic? It was set on fire by the Kreutzen Provincial Army. What? What?
hope Louise will be okay. She wasn't the only familiar face either.
I beg to differ. The presence of Soldot's units on a battlefield makes a tremendous difference. What they may lack in firepower and armor compared to tanks, they make up for in mobility and versatility. But more important than even those factors is the psychological impact they have on our opponents. We're only human. As such, we are as captivated as we are terrified of giant beings bearing human form.
Still, this war seems to resemble the War of the Lions more by the minute. History tells us towns were set ablaze all across the country back then as well. Really? That is said to have been the case, yes. Although the situation back then is very different compared to now. True enough. This war has been relatively bloodless in comparison, so something like this happening is a big deal. Still, in the long term, this is bound to hurt the Alliance's cause more than it will help. That's why I'm finding it so hard to picture that Rufus would give the go-ahead to do it. I think it's safe to say it was just Duke Alborea doing his own thing. He really seems to hate how Duke Cayenne's higher in practice than him in the Alliance. I'm sorry, but this is where we part ways. Captain, please let me disembark somewhere nearby. What? Y you can't be serious! You're not... You're not thinking of trying to settle things with your father alone, are you? I can't believe you would even entertain the thought. You need to take a deep breath and calm down before you do something you regret, Eusis. How dare you? Don't act like you know the first thing about what I'm feeling right now. As a member of the Alborea family, I have a duty to stop my father. You have no right! We have every right to interfere, Eusis. This is clearly too much for one person to handle alone. Machias is right. You need to calm down, and we need to think this over together. <sighs> yeah, this isn't like you at all. As your classmates and friends, it's not hard to imagine how terrible you must be feeling right now. But that's exactly why we want to help you, and I believe we can. We should discuss how to approach this matter together. Uh. <laughs> that's a Class 7 I know. Still... This isn't a matter to be taken lightly. Your actions could have a profound effect on the war from here on out. If you're going to get yourselves involved, you're going to need to be prepared for the potential consequences. But I'm sure you guys know the deal at this point, right? We fully understand what you're saying. So far, we've tried to keep our interference with the war itself to a minimum. However, what just happened in Keldic was an act of terrorism against innocent civilians. We can't turn a blind eye to that. You're right. We're all agreed there. The market manager did a lot for us, both during our field study and when we were lying low there after the war broke out. I'm of the same opinion. He may be head of one of the four great houses, but the Imperial family can still make him answer for his crimes. So please, use my position and this ship however necessary to bring him to justice. Thank you, Your Highness. All right, I think it's time we come up with a solid plan. We can't allow Duke Alborea to do anything so inhuman ever again. Thank you. Huh? Is there a call coming through? Where is it coming from? Um, bear with me a moment. This can't be right. It's coming from an airship owned by the Noble Alliance. How can that be? They must have sneaked into range. What should we do, Toa? I think I can shake them off if I try. No. Put the call up on the screen. It's a pleasure to see you all again. Especially you, my dear brother. And Princess Alphen is with you, too. Truly, it's an honor, Your Highness. Uh, Rufus! Goodness! Why are you calling us? I apologize for calling so abruptly. Rest assured, I have no intention of attacking or otherwise harming you. I'm calling because there is information of which I'd like to make you aware. Due to the rather sensitive nature of my message, this feed is a private communique from my personal airship. What could you possibly have to tell us? Does this concern Keldic by any chance? It does indeed. I imagine all of you have seen what befell the town yourselves. 
The attack on Keldor was instigated by Duke Alvarea alone. We of the Noble Alliance do not in any way condone it. If you plan to confront the Duke about his actions, you need fear no interference from us. Mm, huh? Oh, I get it. You want us to take him out, don't you? Surely not. The bulk of the Kreutzen Provincial Army is already under my control. The attack was carried out by a small contingent of soldiers who remain loyal to my father. At present, they've walled themselves up in Orox Fort along with him. With the aid of the Imperial Army, you ought to be able to take the fortress without much trouble. This is insane! They're not as well trained as the ones who are serving you, so you don't mind losing them, do you? I'm impressed at how cold-heartedly objective you can be, Mr. Chief of Staff. Bet you'd love it if we ended up killing each other, so you'd have nothing to worry about, huh? <laughs> nothing of the sort, Miss Clausel. Still, there's no denying my father's actions will be a millstone around the neck of the Alliance going forward. But considering the position I hold, I can't very well publicly oppose him. That's why I figured I might bring up the matter with all of you. Hmm. Well, I've said my part. Oh, and Eusis. This is an intensely family-centric affair, as I'm sure you realize. I'm very curious how you'll approach it. I... Well then, if you'll excuse me. I suppose I'll hope and pray for your success this once, as a sitting member of Thor's board of directors. Nothing like using other people to do your dirty work. There remains a real possibility that this is a trap. Still, now we know the Alliance wants something done about Duke Alvarea as much as we do. This could be the best chance we're ever going to get to stop him from wreaking more havoc. <sighs> I can't allow my father to commit any more of these unforgivable crimes. I will go to Orox Fort and apprehend Duke Alvarea myself. And it would mean the world to me if all of you were to lend me your aid. <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Of course we will. We'll be with you every step of the way.
Yes, ma'am. Departing for the agreed location. We'll keep watch for any threats from the ground. Course to the Kreutzen province secured. Courageous. Full speed ahead. Go, go, go!
attack the city from both sides? The shameless fiends! Is there still no response from the Pantagruel? I'm afraid not, Your Grace. We've been trying repeatedly, but we've yet to gain contact. The same remains true for Lord Rufus's personal ship as well. <sighs> that damn son of mine. Surely he isn't planning on casting me aside. I thought Eusus was the only useless son I had, but I see I was mistaken. Regardless, we must make the best of what we have and repel those intruders. See that my will is done! <sighs> yes, Your Grace! There's a sad sight. Man, if I'd known things were gonna pan out to be such a mess here, I would've gone to where the 4th Division is. Remember, we're not to even think of trying to fight in any of this war's major battles. We belong in the shadows, and as such, that is where we shall remain. Leave the battles that will be recorded in history's pages to others. Too uptight for someone whose only job now is to sit and do a whole lot of nothing. Hell, didn't you just get back from Crossbell? If we're just gonna be sitting around anyway, you might as well relax. Well, I can't deny I have as little interest as you in being here. But interest or no, this is work! WORK! <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one who doesn't want to be here. And then again, it takes a special kind of person to want to help someone who has no problem burning his own territory to the ground. Still, as someone whose own life is about to burn out, perhaps this is where I belong. May I manage one last moment of beauty before my flame burns out completely? Was that? The Crimson Wings? This is Alfin Raisei Arner, speaking from on board the Courageous. We have come to arrest Duke Alborea on suspicion of ordering the destruction and raising of Keldic. Please surrender peacefully! Y your Highness. Ah! So the attacks on Berea Hard were merely a diversion? No matter. Shoot them down! Back off! The Hessian Knight? Too late! Ah! Impossible! Thanks for clearing a path, Rain. Wow! Reinforcing it with Zemurian ore really did make a huge difference. Their defenses are weak. Now's our chance to rush inside. Right! Don't get ahead of yourselves now. That sounds like... A new soul dot? Hello, beautiful children of Class 7. It looks like our time to fight has come once again. Scarlet? Scarlet, is that you? Hmm. Not a fan of you suddenly showing up. Oh well. 
I still owe you for managing to escape from us back at Gorelia Fortress. <laughs> I suppose so. But for what it's worth, I just don't care. I don't care about our past encounters. I don't care about the Noble Alliance, and I don't care about what happens to this country. Huh? What do you mean? I have no reason to want to cling to life. See, punish the man who stole everything from me just to put a railway through my homeland by putting a bullet in his heart. That was all I lived for. Now it's done. Right now I'm nothing but a walking corpse searching for a place to die. That's why I've come to see you, Ashley. You're the perfect opponent for me to fall in battle against. She's just like V was. She's lost the will to live as well. <laughs> what a spoiled child. <laughs> Still, you're all welcome to join me if you want. This Kestrel Soldat was designed for pure speed. And I'm going to be pushing it past its limits and flying it straight to hell where V and G are. But there's always room for more passengers on the trip. I'll give you the full story if you decide to join us. Sound fair? And if you choose not to join? Well, that way has its own charms, I suppose. If it's a fight you want, I can grant you that much! But I'm not going to make the same mistake twice! I won't let anyone else so easily choose to die! <laughs> if you think you can stop me, go right ahead and try, Ashen Awakener! This will be a tough one. Be careful! Leave it to me! I'm counting on you. With pleasure. Take this! Leave it to me. I'm sorry, can you handle All this? All right, let's get this started. Huh? Gotcha! Time! Gotcha. 
He did it. Nice work, Reed. <laughs> I can see why you were C's classmate. You fought just as wonderfully as he does in his Azure life. Now I can go with no regrets. This is bad. Watch out, Reen! Pushing her soul off for that kind of speed put a huge strain on its orbital engine. At this rate, the same thing that happened with B is gonna happen here, too. I won't let that happen. I'm not going to stand back and allow anyone else to die. Not if I have the power to stop it. We're doing this, Valimar! Acknowledged. There really is no end to your recklessness. Is that our Soldat's cockpit? Yeah. Looks like I managed to separate it in time. I want to check to see if she's alright in there just in case, though. <laughs> you put on a good show, Reen. Alright, everyone. We're going in. Right. We've got to hurry while Claire and the others are keeping the soldiers here occupied. We'll check if everything is clear inside. Follow when you can. I will. Take care, everyone. Our objective is to infiltrate the fortress and apprehend my father, Duke Alborea. Remain on guard at all times. Let's hurry! Class 7, Group 8, advance into the fortress! How is she, Valimar? I detect vital readings from inside. Her life appears to be in no danger. <sighs> this should do it. Uh. Are you okay? Why did you... have to? I was so close. So close to being reunited with them. Sorry, but I wasn't about to let that happen. I can't pretend to know everything about the life that you've led. But based on what I do know, I don't believe it's okay for that life to come to an end like this. Accept justice for what you've done, and then find a way to atone for your crimes. Hmm. You really are soft. Uh. Looks like she passed out. Still, I'm glad I made it in time. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> That's... It's Ordine! How long have you been there? Oh, how cute! Did you come because you were all worried about your friend? <laughs> you got me. Still, I wasn't expecting you to try a bet with stakes quite that high. Did you even stop to think for one second about what would happen if you got caught in that explosion? I wasn't thinking at all, to be honest. Still, if I can't win a bet like that, what chance do I have of winning against you? Right, Crow? Fair enough. Well, thanks. Oh, and reinforcing your weapon with Sumerian ores not a bad idea. Just know that you're gonna need to do more than reinforce some old sword to match up to Ordeen. <laughs> so, you know, keep working your way through those trials. Oh, and that was some fine work you did in making it, George. Can't wait to see what the final product looks like. I think you'll like what you see. As for the two of you, Toa and Jellica, 
Looks like you've really gotten the hang of flying that thing. I don't think there are many students out there who can learn to handle a cutting-edge cruiser in a couple weeks. <laughs> you two are nuts. Ha! <laughs> it was nothing. We can't afford to take forever getting used to a ship when we've got a troublemaker like you to bring home. Just you wait! You'll be coming back to us. I promise you that. And I hope you're ready to be on cleaning duty until graduation as a penalty for worrying us so much. <laughs> if you think you can do it, go right ahead. You still got a long way to go before you can defeat me. But I ain't gonna complain if you actually pull it off. <laughs> okay, time to get back to work. Your classmates must be waiting inside for you by now. You should go after them. We'll get Valimar back on board the Courageous and keep watch here. You can count on that. Ha! <laughs> Good luck! Thanks. We'll be back soon. Stop right there! <laughs> if it isn't the Northern Jaegers. Step aside. Our business is with Duke Alborea, not with you. Afraid that's not gonna happen. We have orders to take you into our custody, Eusus Alborea. And for our homeland of North Ambria, we intend to do just that. North Ambria State? That's even farther up north than Nord. I know little about it, though, other than how virtually inhospitable it is. <sighs> Some things just don't change. Sarah Valestine? I wasn't expecting to find you accompanying our target. I was aware that you'd made quite a name for yourself as a bracer by the name of Purple Lightning. But I see the rumors about you becoming a teacher at that academy were also true. Sarah... So you know them, do you? Yeah, afraid so. We go quite a ways back. I don't intend to tell you that what you're doing is wrong. There's no doubting that the money you raise is vital to the people back home. But right now, being an instructor to these kids comes first. And Erebonia, not Northambria, is my home now. So I don't care who it saves. I'll show no mercy to anyone who dares to burn my home to the ground. I'll make damn sure you can never do anything like that ever again. So let's go. I'll take all of you on. Ugh. She might be tough. Do you honestly think you can fight us by yourself? You don't have to fight alone. You can't fight a high-ranking core like that by yourself. It's too much for one person to do alone. I won't allow it. We'll help. Nuh-uh. I want you all to stand back and leave this to me. It's time for me to settle what I failed to do six years ago. Why are you so set on doing this? Very well. It's time to make you regret turning your back on your homeland and leaving us. Let me show you why I'm called the Purple Lightning. Off we go! Leave it to me!
I messed up. How did you withstand all of that completely alone? Unbelievable. It looks like you've grown even stronger since your days in the core. Well, is that all you got? Go on! Fight me! I can take it! So try your luck as long as you want! <sighs> You're serious. Sarah, it's okay. Instructor... Nah. nah, I've had enough. I see no point in wasting any more time fighting with a wounded lioness. This battle's dragged on long enough. I think this is time to walk away. Our contract with the Kreutzen province is hereby complete. <laughs> Are you allowed to simply abandon your contracts like that? We've worked enough for the money we've been paid. We're not in the business of doing unpaid overtime. Farewell, Valestine. We may meet again, but it won't be during this war. I sure hope not. We're withdrawing! Disperse, and make your way to the agreed location! Yeah! gone a lot worse than it did. Indeed, and it was all thanks to the complete and utter lack of sanity of our loving instructor. Where do they get off calling me a wounded lioness anyway? I'll show them a lioness, the bastards. <laughs> Still, I really wish you guys hadn't seen me that way. I didn't want you to know my background either, but not much I can do about that now, huh? Indeed. I had a faint idea that might be the case. So you were just like Fee, huh? Yep. Once upon a time, I was a Jaeger too. A member of the Northern Jaegers, to be exact. That was six years ago, before I became a Bracer. During my time there, I ended up being saved by Colonel Beatrix. That was what led me to break out of the group. I knew about it already, but it wasn't my place to talk about it. 
I got all that from the ID ages ago, of course. I guess you have your fair share of burdens to shoulder like the rest of us. <laughs> all this was a long, long time ago. <clears throat> Are you alright? You've contributed more than enough already. Leave the rest to us. Okay. Maybe I went a little overboard in that fight. But you know what? It paid off. You won't need to worry about Jaegers on your way to the Duke now. He should still be somewhere in here. Find him, and do what we came to do. Understood. And you stay right here and rest. We'll be back before you know it. Let's go and find my father.
Thank goodness! I'm just getting started. Just getting started. <laughs> A matter of course. Close by. Advantage is ours. 
I'll handle it. Let's move. Yeah. I can do this. Now's our chance. Leave it to me. Okay. Here I go. Now! You're done! I'll handle it. No problem. Fire! All right. Okay. My turn. I can do this. I'll handle it. It's my turn. Time is precious. We should hurry. Another one. How tedious. Now's our chance. Let's. Okay. My turn. My turn. Okay. Time is precious. We should hurry. No complaints here. I'm awesome! My turn. No problem. Darkness activate. Okay. Too slow. My turn. Got you! It's over! 
impressive as always, Gaius. <laughs> Not feeling too winded, are you? Great! Done. Must we really pass through here? Father's gone completely on the defensive now. 
But every defense has its flaws. We will find a way through. Sit right! Sit back! Ha! Ha! The wind is behind us. I'll handle it. Here I go. Sit! No problem. Now's our chance! Leave it to me. There! My turn. Let's move. I'll handle it. I can do this. Leave it to me. Now! Gotcha! Okay. My turn. Now's our chance! You're done! Okay. No problem! Leave it to me! There! My turn. Here I go! Sit! Right! Okay. Done. But we can't relax yet. Ah, I'm so glad! Oh, look! There's a treasure chest! If we're going to take that monster on, we'll need to be very careful. This one's dangerous. Stay on your toe. Okay. My turn. Right. Now watch time to finish this. Right, leave it yeah. to me. My turn. My turn. Now. Too slow. Okay. Let's move. No 
complaints here. <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> A matter of course. Advantage is ours. I'll handle it. My turn. Here I go. Leave it to me. Now. You're done. I'll handle it. Let's move. Okay. Leave it to me. Time is precious. We should hurry. I might be a little too big for this. Got my eye on the prize! Too big for this. My turn. Yes, sir! My turn. 
Leave it to me. Time is precious. We should hurry. Could have been no other outcome.
There's a treasure chest close by. see anything. this. My turn. <laughs> My turn. Hey! We'll cut our own path. Let's get this over with. Here I go.
blood! Made it. You're cornered now, Father. Ha! To Galborea or Boros. I did wonder whether someone from the society might be here with all those archaisms walking around. <laughs> oh, how nice it is to see you all again. Long time no see. Where'd Purple Lightning go? Pretty sure I saw her with you when you entered the fortress. She's downstairs. She can't make it, I'm afraid. Oh, how did you even make it here? What does that terrorist and those Jaegers think they're doing? S was defeated. The Northern Jaegers left. The Noble Alliance has completely turned its back on you. You have nowhere left to run, Father. Please, surrender with good grace. How dare you speak that way to me? Who do you think I am? I am the head of the House Alborea! The ruler of the Kreutzen province, and one of the four great houses! Do you honestly think that excuses raising your own lands? Do you feel nothing for the suffering you caused the innocent people of Celtic? Silence! The people in that pitiful excuse of a town willingly sat back and accepted an enemy force squatting in my territory. This country's future is as a nation ruled by the nobility! Those shameless fools have no place in it! How is that beyond your comprehension? Father... We've talked enough. Let's get this done. Yep. Claire's still out fighting, so we've got to get our part of the job done, too. Oh, aren't we overconfident? Do you honestly think it will be that simple? Lord Rufus may have chosen to abandon his father, but until we're told it is no longer necessary, we will fulfill the mission we have been given. I suggest you abandon all hope of victory, for we will be your opponents. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Excuse me? Can't deny I'm a little interested in what that black-haired kid can do. But with the purple lightning missing in action, you can take this one on your own. See ya. Maybe next time we get a chance to fight, we'll be in somewhere that can take the heat. Ah! He is unbelievable! This is why I hate working with him! 
Your partner's not the most reliable one in Ouroboros now, is he? So? You still intend to take us on even without him? <laughs> so, you all think you can make a fool out of me, do you? Come forth! Vanguard F3! Sleipnir! Archaisms? They seem pretty well armored. It must be for defending bases. We may have fought before, but that was a mere taste of what I'm truly capable of. Come at me with all that you have. I am the head knight of the Stormbringer, Duvali the Swift. And I shall defeat every one of you! Here she comes! We'll be the ones defeating you. Now, draw your weapons. I'll handle it.
too slow. Let's move. Ha! Now! We're done!
My turn. Yeah. My turn. Now. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'll handle it. No problem. My turn. Let's move. Cinch. I can do this. Fire. Here I go. I'll handle it. Here I go. Right. Okay. My turn. moving. Great! I'm awesome! Done. Uh, I'm so glad! That should suffice. No complaints here. Target rendered powerless. Mission complete! We did it. Although, she did seem oddly tired. Ugh. First I disgraced myself in Crossbell, and now here. How am I to face my illustrious lord who told me to serve as witness here now? Now, nothing stands in our way. You've nowhere left to run, father. Hmm? How dare you, Eusis! And you, Kerr! What do you think you're doing? You will protect me! Girl? <laughs> you seem to have greatly misconstrued my reason for being here. 
The mission assigned to me was to come and watch this fortress fall. No one ever said anything about protecting you. What? Watch this fortress fall? You thought to abandon me the moment you arrived? Very much so. Those were Duke Cayenne and Lord Rufus's orders, you see. Besides, my lord would never forgive the odious crimes you have committed. And quite frankly, neither can I. You keep me weeping with gratitude. I haven't taken my sword to you myself. No. Well, there she goes. Yusus, I know. Father... No. Your Grace Duke Helmolt Alborea. You are hereby under arrest on suspicion of arson and property damage in Keldic, as well as causing harm to the people of Kreutzen. Please, do not attempt to resist. <laughs> 